drivers need to get ready to pay more at the pumps this week. Gas will reportedly rise a dime overnight to $1.63 a litre. The price of gas had been trending slightly downward late in the summer, but experts, they warned the relief would be short-lived. And joining me now for more is the president of Canadians for Affordable Energy, Dan McTagg, who's forecasting that big jump tomorrow. Dan, thanks for being here. Uh, yeah, good to be here. Maybe uh, next time I can predict it going down. Yeah, well, look, Dan, even for the casual driver, people that, you know, check the, the, the cost, the price board has become like a doomsday clock. Uh, you know, it's, okay, so it's not 212 a litre like it was at the height, but a dime in a day is a lot. Yeah, it is, and it's not going to stop there because uh, it looks like it's going to be another two or three cents a liter uh, come Thursday. So if you see a dollar fifty-two point nine here in the GTA or Ottawa or anywhere across the most of southern Ontario, you might want to fill up today. I don't see this getting better, and it's uh, really being driven by global circumstances, in particular OPEC, that's uh, likely to cut uh, oil production to get, uh, as it were, to get oil prices back up to where they believe it should be, which is ninety dollars a barrel versus seventy-six, seventy-seven. Why is there such a wide range, Dan, when you go around the world? I can just speak from my own experience. Uh, about a month ago, I was in Greece. And uh, when you factor it, uh, it with the exchange, for Canadian, over there, they're paying about 5 bucks a litre for diesel, four fifty for regular. That's a lot more than we're paying. How come? Yeah, taxes. I mean, and since 1973, Europe has taken upon itself the responsibility of shielding consumers uh, and, of course, investing some of that those taxes into infrastructure and uh, given this you know the relative size of many of those regions uh, they don't face the cold hard harsh weather that we have over here they do have an advantage but that's been a policy uh, George since about the mid 1970s mm -hmm. uh, as the uh, the building of a strategic petroleum reserve which they in the United States have been releasing and unfortunately uh, the industry is simply not responding by providing enough production of both oil gasoline and in particular the big one no one really talks about, but that's the fuel, whether it's, as uh, you mentioned, in Greece or whether that's here, uh, the fuel that uh, is really the proverbial workhorse of the global economy, diesel. Right. Uh, watch diesel, airline, jet fuel, and uh, heating oil go through the roof and bring natural gas with it. Okay, so that's uh, geopolitics and taxes. Now let's talk about things like refinery capacity and transportation. We've got, you know, we're just mid-hurricane season. Who knows what's coming towards the Gulf states? How could that impact things? Uh, hugely, George. I mean, look, uh, in the old days when I wore the other cap in foreign affairs, I would always watch what was happening in the U.S. Gulf Coast. There's a couple of disturbances making their way up. Apart from the impact, which really avoided uh, the state of Louisiana and Texas, where home to half of the refineries, uh, refinery capacity in the United States, uh, you know, we've been lucky so far. But uh, I'm watching two disturbances that seem to be heading that direction. We'll see what happens this time next week. But one thing's very clear. This is the time of year which a lot of, ga a lot of refineries shut down their operations or, re you know, slow down their operation in order to, uh, you know, in order to operate uh, more, more efficiently and ensure that they don't wind up uh, blowing up or anything like that through maintenance. So there is a turnaround period. It's a shoulder period. Uh, unfortunately, demand is still very strong, much stronger than I think uh, many uh, analysts uh, believe. Certainly, the markets are suggesting uh, that there should have been demand destruction by now. The obsession with recession crowd, I think they're all being proven mm. you know, significantly wrong. The price decrease that we saw, mostly done by, as I said earlier, the release of, uh, uh, of emergency supplies into the market, hasn't had the effect, I think, that uh, we've wanted. We're going to start to see prices go up, not just for diesel, but also for gasoline. Dan McTagg, president of Canadians for Affordable Energy, thanks so much for your time and your expertise. Thanks again, George.